Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is your monthly career and finance forecast for the month of July year 2020. This is Chelsea and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm truly grateful for your love and support. Now let's get to your reading Capricorn. Spirits and angels. I'll take this and I'll take this one. Please show me accurate messages for Capricorn. In career, finance, July. Capricorn, so there's a lover's card here. I'm sensing one is up, one is down with the with the two of cups in reverse here. I feel like there was a choice that was being made here, okay? A choice that I feel that um that you I feel like something that you have been feeling like you're carrying a lot of burden, a lot of responsibilities. And here is the King of Wands, it's in reverse, and it could also mean that you don't feel passionate about this this work or this business. This is a general reading, so it could be just like uh, either a job, you know, or a business, if you own a business, okay? Like you don't feel like you, you have passion or love for your job or this business anymore, and something about feeling stuck, okay? And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's like, feeling like stuck and also a sense of like not going or not going anywhere like it's not going anywhere yep so you've made a decision with the lover's card and it, it means like making a choice okay so you made a choice to actually let go to let go of this uh, job or this business that you don't feel passionate about anymore or you don't love it anymore uh, you don't just just don't like it anymore. You feel like I just want to unload this burden. It's too much uh, responsibilities or too much work. It could mean too much work, um, and also something about feeling stuck and that it's not going anywhere. Like you don't see with the wheel of fortune in reverse. You don't see it mm, going to somewhere where where it's going to be like that it's going to grow or it's going to bring you somewhere else as in like one level up or yeah something about just feeling stuck and you have let go you have made a choice to let it go to quit or either either to quit or to you know if you have a business then you're gonna just stop the business but i see let me see I'm sensing, yeah, it could be a business, but for some of you, and then for most of you, I feel like it's like a job that you just quit, okay? And the judgment is right here. You feel like you're making a judgment call here. Like, you feel like you're making the right choice, okay? And with the three of um, wands in reverse, it's like you're just tired of waiting. You feel like it's holding you back a lot. Uh, this job is holding you back a lot and you're tired of waiting and you don't see any prospects and also with it being reversed it could also mean turning your back on on it okay on this this job or this business you have this you've definitely decided with the hangman in reverse here and but if you were pondering for a while though with the move uh, with the hangman in reverse and the hermit in reverse here. So you've been thinking about it for quite a while, um, maybe at, during isolation as well, because the hermit is an isolation card, right? So it's in reverse. You've come out from your isolation. You've been thinking about it. You've been, you know, be, digging deep into, you know, this whole situation, like wondering if you should make the choice to let go, to, to quit okay or to let go of this this job or this business and then you have made a judgment call and you did and you feel like you did the right thing because it's no longer fulfilling and you don't feel and maybe there's a lot of work and it's sort of like not you feel like it's not worth your time and that you feel very stuck and there's no growth 
okay or that it's not going anywhere something about it not going anywhere so temperance is it's in reverse maybe it's also you you made the judgment call also based on your sanity i feel like something about an off balance at your workplace something that is not fulfilling and you just yeah so you just i can see here clearly you you've decided to not continue or decided to turn down a certain offer okay with the moon card here uh, it looks like yeah it could also mean that I feel like maybe there is a sense of uncertainty something about your future you feel like there's some sort of an uncertainty when it comes to your your job or your business Mm, with the six of pentacles in reverse it could also mean that it wasn't fair like it wasn't a, an equal give and take like maybe they're not paying you as much as you feel that you deserve mm -hmm. so i'm also sensing capricorn you are trying to heal actually i mean healing is not just for love reading healing is also for career finance reading when somebody something ends whether you ended it or they ended it or whatever the case is you know you 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 go into this phase where you need to heal as well okay it's also very traumatic when um to a lot of people when a career ends you know or business ends so with the two of swords, swords here, it could also mean that I feel like you were trying to figure out uh, which path to take, okay, which de decision to make, which I feel like you, if you haven't m made it yet, I think you, you will. You will choose to let go, I feel, okay, because I feel like they're not giving you what you feel that it is des uh, that you deserve sorry my, my mind is like so so foggy i have sinus infection so so it makes me like really really slow if you can hear in my voice too it's like my stuffy nose so okay so we have also the four of cups you feel like maybe they offer you something and you don't think it's good enough so you're not taking it you're not taking it looks like you're going to start something new here the fool finally have a sense of freedom and that could have been some drama involved as well at your workplace or in your business some drama that you just don't want to deal with anymore competition or drama mm, fighting arguments disagreement and with the six of pent uh wands here it's looking really good Capricorn, I feel like you're going to start a new journey here, okay, with the full card, uh, or just just do you for now, okay, after ending it, and uh, maybe just, because I feel like you are someone very capable, right, because the six of wands, to me, this person is a champion, is a winner, because the six of wands, if you can see, he just came back from a battle, battlefield, and he won, so all, he's got all these supporters here, you know, um, welcoming him back. It's not gender specific, him or her, right? So it's like almost like um, I'm sensing that you're someone very capable, okay, and you're very good at what you do, um, and that you do have a lot of opportunities. And you, I feel like a lot of people do see you as someone uh, very capable in what you do. And I feel like uh, you did take a, if not, I feel like you are going to take a leap of faith, uh, just starting a new uh, journey, starting from zero, and then possibly doing something either on your own independently or just weighing your offers, okay, or weighing your options. I feel like you'll be getting some good news here as well with the eight of wands. If you're looking for a new job, I feel like you will get a like good news you will you will get the job if if you're going after a certain job you'll get it and if you're starting a new business i feel like um it will be successful very very successful it has a lot to, maybe some, has something to do with communication public speaking or something to do with um because it's about 
communication or something that you are just generally very passionate about okay that you have passion and a lot of passion because there's eight of eight of wands here something that moves fast as well could be uh so it has something to do with internet uh online stuff stuff <laughs> Someone says, don't say, you know, some people think that when you say stuff at the end, it's like it's not that intelligent. But I say that. I say that sometimes. Maybe I'm not that intelligent. Just kidding. <laughs> but there's a moon card here too, okay? So the moon card, I feel like it's a, there's a fear. Some sort of a fear, insecurity um, pertaining to this uh, situation here that I feel that you you have ended or that you are going to end it if not because you're still trying to figure out you know what you really want to do but I feel like you will eventually take a leap of faith and you're gonna start something new on your own either on your own or weigh your options um, and then I feel like Capricorn is gonna be very successful for you but it's gonna be quite hard okay in the beginning I feel like it'll be a little bit hard here and nine of like you will, I feel like you are going to put a lot of time, you have to put a lot of time in it. You can't, you won't be um, indulging too much on, you know, other things. But I feel like if you start something new, you're going to really put a lot of effort into it. And with the moon here, yeah, but there's some sort of fear and insecurities. I feel like it's all in your head, right? It's all in your head with the um, eight of swords here. Look. She can walk away, right? Her feet are not bound. She can walk away, actually. But, but you know, it's all it's it's all in your head that you feel like maybe you know it's just some fear and the insecurities. But I'm sensing your Capricorn that it will be successful. You will you'll be very successful with this new new endeavor. Look, you're gonna be very happy. Just keep positive, okay? Keep very very positive. Well, that's a very good reading for you, Capricorn, actually. Um, well, as usual, when there's an ending, there is a new beginning, and I'm see, and I'm really seeing a very positive new beginning for you. But I feel like you you do second guess yourself because you have some fear and some insecurities. But it's all in your head. But you are someone very very capable. You know that people do look up to you actually, and they do know that, and they do think that you are very capable. You're very good at what you do. All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, I do private reading. My number is in the description box below and my email address as well. If you'd like to reach me, you can also email me or WhatsApp me. Um, I post your videos every single day, so don't forget to hit on the bell notification button as well. Nothing else. I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, Capricorn. Bye.